Hi everybody, this is uh, Guru Francis or Francis and today is another episode of Bayani Talk. Hi everybody, this is Francis and today is another episode of Bayani Talk and today we have a very, very special guest, uh, my teacher, my mentor, my, my, you know, secondary father, Master Sunny Napio and we're here to talk about Mando Corp's uh, lightsabers. Now, uh, Master Sunny, thanks for having us. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, so, Chief, so now we're going to be, um, we're, we're trying to see if we can integrate um, the lightsabers into, uh, into the GSBA or Filipino Martial Arts Tournament. So, can you tell me, why do you, do you think it's, it's something that we can, is something that our, our, our participants will, will enjoy to add a lightsaber division? Uh, well, I think they'll enjoy it. Um, we're always trying to en entice younger uh, people into the tournament. Uh, they're all into those Star Wars situations, uh, the Star, Star Wars stories. I think it'll bring them in just because they want to handle a, a lightsaber, mess around with a lightsaber, use the stuff that they've learned in Filipino martial arts and actually in, uh, apply that to a, a lightsaber uh, striking pattern. Um, I think it'll, it'll bring in a lot of younger folks, myself, and a, a lot of older nerds like myself. Yeah, I know. I think second childhood people. Okay. <laughs> never, I've never grown out, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, I mean, um, now, do you, I, I've always believed this, Master Sonny, and, and confirmed this for me, that I believe that every Filipino martial artist, fil Filipino martial artist deep down inside wants to be a Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, in everybody's dreams, yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right. Okay, so, sir, can you tell me a little bit about what's your background? Like, why, why do you think? I mean, why do you think I chose you to be the the person to to talk to you about this? Uh, because I'm a, a nerd. <laughs> because I'm a Star Wars fanatic. Uh, uh no, uh, I think you wanted to have somebody to really check out the equipment, see if it works. And, and for myself, especially if we're going to bring these into the tournament, we need to make sure the equipment is safe, uh, applicable to you know how we use it, uh, is, is uh, strong enough to, to, to take the, the beating that it'll get in our type of tournament. And, uh, and again, last thing for sure, it has to be safe for the, uh, for the competitors. We don't want anything breaking or splintering or ending up with somebody getting seriously hurt. Right. So, sir, what is, what is, your, um, what is your role within, um, within GSBA, Global Stick and Blade Alliance? I'm, right now, I'm co-president of the uh, GSBA USA um, with uh, Grandmaster Tom Sippen, um, where we, contr not control, but we help to uh, Oh, not only officiate but to coordinate the uh, the USA team that competes in the world competition that uh, happens every two years, and unfortunately with the COVID situation, that's <laughs> that was uh, that was not you know that possible. was uh, possible. It was uh, it basically got postponed. Uh, we might, and again, it might. We're not sure for not for sure right now that uh, we might be going to Germany. Uh, bond Germany for 2021, but especially right now until things, you know, lighten up, uh, that's still up in the air. So we don't know at this point. So and, and so, how long have you been a Filipino martial arts practitioner, sir? Mm, I would say about 40 years. Uh, prior to that, I was uh, into other martial arts, uh, uh, Chinese Kempo, Kung Fu. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu, Karate, uh, because in those days the Filipino martial arts was not open to a lot of people, not even told that it was there, and I, it wasn't until I had uh, uh, learned from uh, a friend of mine who happened to know uh, Dan Inosanto that I found out about Filipino martial arts, so that's how I got into it. So, um, so now let me ask you this, sir, what does it take for the lightsaber to be included within the GSBA, uh, or, you know, divisions of, of competition. What are, what are the requirements, sir? Um, the, the rules have to apply to how we do our, our striking patterns and stuff. It, ha uh, it has, again, the competition should be exciting uh, because that's what you want to get into. If you're going to sell uh, this particular division, you've got to have an exciting division. People would want to get into it. 
Uh, and above all, it has to be not only fair, but safe uh, for everyone so that all age ranks can, can compete in something like this and, 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 and safely compete and go home as friends. Right. Uh, but the equipment has to ma be able to withstand the, 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 the beating that we give it. And that's the whole key. Um, that's the reason why we have our equipment right now. And even our current equipment for padded stick doesn't hold up for more than maybe three tournaments right. at the most. Right, right. So now, um, so would it be possible for us to include this division in the upcoming world championship? I, no. Right. No. Um, why not, sir? Because you have to submit that as a, a um, uh, submit it as a new division, a new division, a possibility of a, of a new division uh, to the, the world committee. Um, meet the, meaning the committee, the, all the um, uh, the directors of each country that's uh, that's involved in GSBA, uh, you would explain to it to them about you know the divisions, how the the rules would be, um, why do you think it would be exciting to have, um, how do you again, what would be the cost, um, right. equipment wise, because right. that cost is always uh, important. Right, it's and an important factor. Right, it's a very important factor. And then, you know, you, if they say, well, that sounds interesting, then you would have a, uh, um, they would have open up an a exhibition uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for the, that division, for that year, mm -hmm. if they want it. Or they say, okay, well, we, we can't put it on this time because we don't have, I mean, our, our time frame is short. We won't be able to fit it. But who, uh, they could also open it up to people who want to just try it after the tournament, right? And to see how it is, right? And right. then they could have an exhibition tournament for the next time around, right? Right. For the worlds, and that's how. I mean, it's not fast, but it, that's not that, that's how it would work. But in the meantime, they would go back to their own countries, mm -hmm. get the equipment, and start right. implementing implementing it into their tournaments also. Right. And if I mean, who knows? If they feel that hey, this can be done. They could actually implement it the, ne the next year, as right, long as wonderful. everybody's on par with the new rules, right. how it works, can get the equipment to be able to do it, that type of stuff. Right. Um, but again, it just depends on, you know, the the, the board of directors for uh, for the international group. Right. So I know you've told me this in the past. Like one of the things that they're looking at, of course, is number one is safety. Mm -hmm. Is the equipment safe? Is it if 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 we use it? Does it is I mean. Yes, there's going to be body damage because we are hitting each other, mm -hmm. but like we don't want it to shatter and then like shards be flying out into people. So we want to make sure that that's uh, that's the primary concern. Yeah. Then of course the secondary concern is of course right sir is its popularity. Mm -hmm. Well, like you had mentioned already, we all know that the Star Wars, the lightsaber, the the Jedi, you know, um, uh, fan base is huge. Mm -hmm. So this has a real huge potential to be a great fresh a breath air mm -hmm. for Filipino martial arts as especially in GSBA. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes. Wonderful. I absolutely agree. Uh, I, I, and again, you know, we just have to go and test out the equipment, see that it's, it is safe before mm -hmm. we can go at it. Um, I haven't seen any, I've seen some of the lightsaber tournaments that they have. Um, if the equipment can handle um, the beating, our, our, the beating that we give it. Yes, sir. Because we are full contact. We're not just a touchy, touchy feely type of of, of, of a tournament. Right. Um, the then great that that would be that would that would be fantastic because again, it would be an exciting division to, yes, to get into. Yes, sir. Uh, and that uh, people won't have to worry about you know the uh, the safety factor also. Yes, sir. So, um, so we have a couple of prototype models made mm -hmm. by Mando Corp, uh, and we kind of want to get your first impression of them, sir. So if you can go and pick up the one to your left. There you go. Okay. All right, so what do you think of, 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 the, of this lightsaber so far, sir? Uh, it's interesting. Um, it's, I was expecting a little bit something longer. <laughs> right. Well, but I mean, Mando Corp made this specifically to be a stream of length. So it's yeah. 28 inches long from the base of the sword uh, lightsaber all the way to the tip. Mm -hmm. So it's something that easily can be integrated to Filipino martial arts in itself. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, it, 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 seems, um, it, it, it seems interesting um, whether it's going to be able to hold up. And I think the, the, um, the blade's a little bit loose, but we'll see what happens when, it, when we strike with it. But uh, 
I think uh, it'll be interesting to find out. Now, how does it handle? How does it handle? How does that feel? Handles it feels really good, uh, actually. Um, I like uh, the way it, it you can move it. Right. So right. It, uh, I mean, you you get a good you got a good grip on it. That's for right. sure. I would now. Some people probably would want to use gloves on this. Right. Because of the the roughness of the of the handle. Right. Right. Uh, to avoid getting a lot of blisters. <laughs> uh, because I can guarantee you. There's going to be a lot of people who don't, un unless you've got a blistered hand, right. it's going to get a lot of blisters with this thing. Right. Um, so, I mean, one of the interesting things about this is that because it is a one-handed lightsaber, uh -huh. because it's an extreme of length, right? Uh -huh. Most lightsabers are a lot longer, but they're, they're, the handle is a lot longer as well because this one is a, uh, because it's a two-handed. But this one, this particular model is, is a one-handed lightsaber. Um, so it is, it is definitely made, uh, Mandelcorp made this specifically for the Filipino martial artists. So that, that's one of the ways we can start integrating FMA into GSBA. Uh -huh. So what do you think about also the the way that it, the, the balance, the weight of it, sir? It, it's good, it's good. It's a little, it's a, I mean, it, it feels light mm -hmm. to me at the tip. Right. But again, you know, you, you don't want a heavy, a, a heavy, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, weapon. Right. Um, because even with our own GSBA type of, of competition, right, our particular sticks have to be a certain uh, what do you call it weight, so that to avoid a lot, uh, a lot of body damage, a body damage and, and injury. Right. So yeah, now how we use this, whether it's going to be single strike or multiple, not multiple strike, but um, engagement striking. Yes, sir. Uh, is a difference in terms of how it holds up to the punishment. Right, sir. Uh, and again. If you, you know, thinking of the lightsaber itself, mm -hmm. since it is supposedly a weapon that can slice through steel, right? A one strike situation is not out of the question. So, right. you know, do you really want to find, you know, one strike and then follow up with another strike? Right. And, you know, if you want to keep that uh, realistic, integrity. yeah, and the that's integrity the way, of it, right? Yeah, realistic. I, I would. I would go with a uh, with a single strike type of a point system. So you would, your initial thought would be to do a point sparring system with this, just because of the nature of the lightsaber. Yeah, is that it's a one strike one kill situation. Now some other people might might uh, might think of me differently, but I mean that's the way I look at it. Right. Um, no, I, and I completely agree. I think that if we were to integrate uh, the lightsaber division into the tournaments, we have to treat it. Like as if it was a real lightsaber, mm -hmm. that it would be a lot of point sparring kind of stuff. And if we, you know, uh, if, if we can always add other divisions later. But mm -hmm. I, I think the initial one would be that, which is a lot of Filipino martial artists. That's one of the things that they don't like about the live stick, the armor fighting, is because they they believe it should be you know one strike, one kill. This could be something that can that can that can touch into that into that world. Well, again, you're you're following the concept of what it's supposed to be. Right. Uh, with full armor and a stick. You're using impact weapons, not right. bladed weapons. So you can do multiple strike combinations and right. stuff like that because nobody's going to go down in one strike right. with a with a with an impact weapon. Right, right. Not unless you're hitting into a vital spot like the head. Right. Um, but in terms of like a weapon that is considered, whether it's a knife, a bolo, or whatever, right, where you will have really uh, you know, I mean, a cutting damage of some sort mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. this should cut <laughs> yeah, when should you make cut, contact should kill, right. should kill or right. cut very badly uh, then you should keep the concept of what it is it's right. a lightsaber right and and not an impact weapon right so the one that the, the model that you have now is the one that has a built-in sound module mm -hmm. and then if you actually hit something with it like just pretend you hit your arm you notice that it changes color so yeah. in this particular model as a as a you know somebody who's judged tournaments before it's going to make it easier for judges to actually see if there was a if there was a contact strike uh, because of the fact that it, re it changes color so i think that's a wonderful aspect to it a wonderful um, addition to help judges with that. So I think Mandocore, I mean, this is the prototype model and this is the upper end of the, the, of the model. Um, I think that that's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, sir, can we try, can you look at the next one, sir? Now, you want to turn off? Yes, sir. So now this one is the more simple, the base model. And in, in this one, yeah, all you have to do is pull that tag and now it doesn't have any sound module. So this one's a base model so that if a person wants to compete, they, you know, and they don't want, they don't have the budget, or they don't want to spend that much money. They can also, you know, just buy, buy the base model. Uh -huh. What are your thoughts on this one, sir? 
Um, and this one doesn't have any uh, change. Yeah, or a anything. change of light color, exactly. And again, depending on the price and how much it's going to cost right, somebody. Right, of course. Uh, if this is much cheaper than what this is, because right. that's, that's the one that we're talking about here, uh, even with the sound and everything, it's great right. for, for Krenze, if somebody wanted to use it in that Right, manner. right. Um, but I in terms of the fighting portion, right, sir. Again, what do you have? You would have a darkened room, right? So you, you can see the lightsaber, right, right. And the judges will have to look and watch the lightsaber and the body, of right, that person. What part of the body? Yeah, yeah. And where this lightsaber is hitting, right. Now, in a darkened room with the body, and depending on what they're wearing, mm -hmm. how difficult is it for the judges to see, right, the, the actual strike? And just like you said, if this strikes. And it makes it changes sound, the color. Changes, it helps, right? But again, you got to see where what, where did it hit? Where did it hit? Yes, sir. Was yes, sir. That was the uh, the strike on a vital part of the body, right? Or you know, some place where that person can still survive, right? Um, and you know, what is the point system in that respect? Right. So there's definitely we still definitely have to establish a lot of rules uh -huh. in this. Uh, I think uh, you're right as far as a base base rule model. We'll probably use a point sparring system. Uh -huh. Um, because it, that point sparring was always designed to be a blade, one strike, one kill type of thing. So I think that that's an aspect that we can use into as, as, as we start off with the lightsaber division. Now, uh, keep in mind that just like what Master Sunny was saying, that this is not necessarily going to be included into GSBA right away. It's going to be tested in local tournaments, and that's actually going to be done at, at 413 Media Group's Battle of the Bayani tournament whenever we open up again the country. We'll, we will be adding the lightsaber division into our tournament, so stay tuned for that. And then, so, and then, uh, you know, if, if for those uh, you know Star Wars Jedi, you know, lightsaber fans have been wanting to do this. We we are going to be bringing this into Battle of the Bayani. This is going to be our testing model, uh, our tester where we're going to see uh, how this really handles within the rigors of a full tournament. But now I do have some something exciting for you guys today. We're actually going to have Master Sunny uh, beat up a Bob with the lightsabers to see how well he can do. And then we're, I'm asking him not to hold back. He never did when he trained me. So <laughs> not to hold back and to just really give it some, you know, really give it a, a whack just so that we can make sure that people, it is safe, that it, it is something that people can do. So stay tuned for that.